Hello, my name is Robert Irvin and I am the Features Editor for a web user magazine. Today we're going to be looking at the handy new auction tool, eBay Desktop. This was launched a few months ago and basically makes it easier than ever to track down items of interest on eBay and keep tabs on any auctions you're involved in. It's aimed at buyers rather than sellers, so you can't actually set up auctions through the program, but it does have a lot of other very useful features for eBayers. Honestly. You can download it for free from desktop.ebay.com. Right, we'll start off by having a quick look at the main interface. As you can see, eBay Desktop has a much cleaner look than its web-based version. Very yellow and tidy. You can easily locate items to buy or bid on by clicking a category in the main categories list here. The subcategories will then be displayed on the right. Click a subcategory and then click View Items to view all the goodies within it. The most recent categories you've looked at are listed in the My Categories box over here on the left. This is very useful if you tend to search for the same type of stuff on eBay all the time, as it makes your favourite categories much easier to access. Just above this is the My Favourite Searches box. Now you might think this would be a record of your most common search terms, but you'd be wrong. It's actually a list of the last 10 feeds you created. We'll be discussing feeds in more depth in a moment. At the bottom of the window is the overview box, which serves the same purpose as the My eBay section of the eBay website. It provides at a glance details of the auctions you're watching, bidding on, and have recently viewed. As you can see, I've been looking at some storybooks there my little nephew, some games for my Nintendo DS Lite, and a copy of Web User, which somebody was selling for a pound. Must have been a, a spare one they had lying around. Didn't need any more. Right, now we've had a quick look at the eBay desktop interface. Let's find out how to start using the program to find and buy lovely things. You could hunt for an item by typing some keywords into this box here. Click search, and in a few moments, eBay will display a list of related items in the box below. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of items to look through here, only 4,000 of them. So we'll use the related keywords to narrow our search down. Yeah. The results list will be updated automatically. Right, next, click on an auction to view the item. Close this box so I can close. You'll see a photo of the product, and you can flick through these tabs to find out information about the seller, to view the number of bids, payment options, and shipping details. And you've got a countdown timer on the right here, which shows you how long the auction has left to run. You can place a bid in the usual manner by typing in here. Let's see. Click the bid button, or if there's a buy it now option, which is not on this option, you can click that. If you're not ready to bid yet, you can add the item to your watch list here. You can ask the seller a question. You can view notes, make notes, sorry. Or you can set a reminder. So it's all in one place, which is very Convenient if you're in a bit of a hurry. Right, next click on the My Items box at the top of the screen to view any watched auctions. As you can see, I've got quite a few here. From here, you can also view recent items that you've looked at, see any messages people have sent you, any notes you've made and any reminders.
the bid buy option at the top of the page displays details of all the items you're currently bidding on. It shows your current status, as you can see I'm winning this auction, and actually quickly increase the amount you're offering should you be outbid. It also displays information on the auctions you've won that are currently awaiting payment, things that need feedback, and past purchases. Again, all in one place and very useful, I'm sure you'll agree. Right, next, uh, one of the program's handiest features, which I mentioned earlier on, is the ability to create feeds. To access this feature, click Feeds in the top right hand corner, and then click Create a new feed. Give the feed a title. We'll call this one. And add some keywords that you might search for. You can then use filters here, auctions only, or buy it now items, or any specific seller. Quite varied. And then click create over here. Ah, see, it's found one already. You can view the results of each feed individually or in a single aggregated list. Feeds are auto refreshed every 10 minutes, or you can click refresh all to update them manually. You can watch or buy items listed in a feed, or just delete them from the list by clicking the cross icon. Oh God. Click the settings option to make adjustments to certain elements of the program. For example, you can switch to another eBay location, such as Australia or Canada or, well, any of those countries really. Once you set the number of items to remember in the history, number of items displayed in a feed, and how often feeds should be updated. When you finish, click save. And that's it. And so concludes our quick introduction to eBay Desktop. Don't forget you can download it for free from desktop.ebay.com. See you next time.